As hundreds of thousands of federal workers and contractors in our region are preparing for the worst, so are food banks in the DMV. The Capital Area Food Bank says they are ready to help those that could be left without a paycheck or food assistance programs. Yeah, our Rafael Sanchez Cruz has more now on the shutdown and how this could impact those families already struggling to put food on the table. Rafa. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, the Capital Area Food Bank says they did not plan for a government shutdown in their yearly budget, but they are ready to purchase more food to help those facing furloughs or the end of food assistance programs. As families brace for the potential financial strains of a possible government shutdown, the Capital Area Food Bank's president and CEO, Rana Mathias, says some households could be forced to make drastic cuts to an essential food. Of the 350,000 federal government workers across the DMV, there would be about 100,000 who um, earn about 90,000 or less uh, in their jobs in the federal government. And it is that group of individuals who we're most concerned about. The good news is that SNAP benefits, formerly known as food stamps, would continue as normal for October. However, the federally funded nutrition program, WIC, would end almost immediately, leaving nearly 262,000 low-income women and children in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia without supplemental help. Some states may have leftover WIC benefits that have not been spent, which could extend it for a week or so in that state. But the vast majority of WIC participants would see an immediate reduction and elimination of those benefits. Amid the uncertainty of a shutdown, Matthias says those impacted should create a plan now. Look at budgets again and understand how certain portions, certain key expenses like rent, like childcare, like transportation will be covered. In the event of a shutdown, the Capital Area Food Bank says they're ready to provide groceries at pop-up locations as soon as next week. A box of shelf-stable food as well as a box of uh, produce fruits and vegetables. That information would be posted on their website, capitalareafoodbank.org. In case of the government shutdown, the Capital Area Food Bank says they would need volunteers to help them bag groceries for families and also donations. All that information will be linked to our website, wusa9.com. And Rafa, this is so important because the Capital Area Food Bank often sends food and resources to smaller ones, so that we're all interconnected in this situation here.